I used to have two girlfriends. Now I got none. First, second girlfriend found out about one. I'm going to guess whoever's in the on deck uh, joining in on the party. Hello? Oh my god. Who's... Hello? Oh, okay. I was going to say it was so quiet. What the... F oh, my bad. Why is my mic so quiet? It's always so quiet. What the just have to have it, fuck have it is that mouth or something. profile picture, by the way? I will be the only person who defends this album till I die. <laughs> you should be the only person who defends this album. <laughs> the album is undefendable. Okay, I'm holding a signed 303 album in my hands, okay? We all know my music taste is fucked. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> Introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Dagan. I'm in Flex. I'm in Flex Entertainment, and I make CDs for them. And I have a terrible music taste. Well, that's not very good. It's starting off saying your music taste sucks <laughs> doesn't seem like a good idea. Yeah, I like Jeff Rosenstock. We got one win there. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm Joshua. I am a stream mod, <laughs> and I I like to. And that's all you like have to, to your you. name. Uh, I also make music, so, uh... Is it good music? <laughs> yep, I think so. That was a trick question. The answer is no. All right. <laughs> but that's why you're here, okay? To learn about good music. Uh, because okay. we are going to be okay. listening now to this Margo album, all right? Uh, so it's user-submitted, artist-submitted. Hi, Brad. Oh, yeah. My partner and I are a noise duo called Elderberry Industries, and this is our latest album, Condensed Emerald. No need to listen to the bonus track at the end. Thanks. And here's the Spotify link. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know what the hell this is, but I'm pretty excited. Seven songs, 35 minutes? They did not send in enough for this. Oh, that's because the last song's 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, and we're not listening to that. Okay. No, it's perfect. Wonderful. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see what the hell this is. First song, Exquisite Corpse. Uh, there's two types of noise albums. Uh, listenable and unlistenable. So let's hope this is listenable. It was a practice session before our latest live gig. Played a Yamaha keyboard. Ooh. A bit too simpler and a MIDI controller. The car is on fire. And there's no driver at the wheel. <laughs> Eric. I'm fascinated. See, it's a good thing that we got two strong intellectuals on the call with us because they're going to be able to help decipher this uh, Morse code. I've never listened to a noise album. Come on, man, you're looking, making me look bad.
Starting to get scared. <laughs> Something scary with a little bit of music. in cathedral. I like the transition. I think that sounded good. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to do a little spoken word. Ahem. They don't want to see us win. How should I even begin? Bugs in your skin, or on your skin. Chat, you hear that? They don't want to see us win. There's bugs under my skin. Ah!
this idea. pause i'm going to do uh, these first two songs are interesting and it's a noise album but it's extremely minimal um one of those that feels like confusing experience and also sort of hard to just throw a label onto and call it a day it's, it's weird and kind of interpretive what do you guys think it, it i think it's kind of weird um, I'm, I'm kind of liking the atmosphere it brings but maybe it's just because i'm not too well versed in the genre but i feel like Things are just kind of happening. There's no build up or payoff or anything. They're just they're just like things happening, and I don't know how I feel about that so far. Oh yeah, guys, it's interesting, but I turn you up. All right, oops. There you go, Joshua. I'm enjoying this so far. I, I I'm really enjoying like the atmosphere that is building. It's very omin ominous, and yeah, I. I just want to see what what happens after this, because I, I I really do like ambient music, and I'm just a huge sucker for this kind of music. So, All right. yeah, Moonlight Bridge. Notice I said we because I'm with the culture feeling. Isn't that right, Chad? like 
some movements going on here. It's weird because I don't really know what to say about this. Maybe you don't got to say anything. Gremlins on the track. Speaking of the mic, I'm literally my face is on my mic. Well, now I hear you. <laughs> the Fantana like this? No, you're bullshitting me. I see who it is. God damn it, man. Why can't we just have a normal chat? Sorry, that's me, you guys. I forgot to turn it off.
god. song sleep away camp I guess it's my favorite one so far but notice I said me cuz I'm not with the culture feeling Canadian cabin. Not what it was. But. Canadian cavern. <laughs>
I like this new generation of music. Bring the fall asleep to finale's version. Hmm. Well, fucking jump scare. Interesting. So I think, I'll, yeah, I'll start off with the positives here. Uh, you've managed to make something that is a noise ambient album uh, with a lot of different strange ideas and it, it come together as a full experience. Um, yeah, it was one of those that the fact that I am so speechless with it means that it meant something. It is very obvious to do something like this and have it feel like nothing. Now, I do think that there are some moments where a lot of the sound choices are so on the nose uh, with the synths, with very little processing, that they sometimes do feel like, uh, this sounds like someone clicking a key on the keyboard a, a bunch of times in a row, but there are other moments where I do actually genuinely get lost in this. Though at the same time, this is a, a weird album, one of those that I don't feel comfortable giving a score to on a first listen. I'm sorry. But I'll put it like this. Uh, uh oh, someone's mom checking on him. <laughs> yeah, Josh. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a weird one. Um, hmm. I I wasn't vibing with it at first, but I think as it went along, I kind of got into the atmosphere a little bit more. I think some things could have been improved a little bit. Like, I think the bell on the fifth song was kind of goofy sounding, kind of took me out of it a little bit. And I feel like some songs went on a little too long. But I like the sto story it was trying to tell, and it created a kind of weird, unsettling, but kind it was weird. I liked it a little bit. I'd give it like a six. I didn't hate it as much as I thought it was going to. I think I feel the exact same way. I think if I had to give it a score, it would probably be a six. Uh, just due to the fact that I feel more content with this than I am blown away. Like, there is moments of shock, but uh, once that kind of wears down, it doesn't really feel like what I'm getting is... Uh, like, like it really provides that same scratch uh, or an itch yeah, that exactly. other uh, veterans that I've heard in the field of ambient, I feel like, are able to do in a way that feels so effortless. I, I feel like with this, it's something that could be expanded upon. Like these ideas individually, these motifs, I feel like could be uh, built, on, built upon, and I don't think that that would uh, require you getting rid of what makes it minimal. Um, I don't think that would require 
you know, you kind of destroying what makes this special. I think that just needs a bit more spice for me. I'm not counting the final track. I was told not to listen to the final track, so uh, it's li- even called Little Bonus. Like, I don't, I don't know if Wheeline Hotel needed to be six minutes when four minutes of it was go- goblin noises. I thought it was an interesting enough little track. I, I didn't mind it being six minutes. No, I think it was good, too. But... All right. Entertain the shit. I'm going to take a quick, like, four-minute break. I'll be right back. I can do this. One second. Let me swap my mic. 